COVID-19 was first confirmed in Italy on the 31st of January this year, when two tourists from China tested positive in Rome. The Italian government declared a state of emergency and suspended all flights to and from China. A week later, an Italian man who'd been repatriated from Wuhan became the third case in the country. But it was on the 21st of February which marked the beginning of the Lombardy outbreak, a cluster of 16 cases that rose quickly to 60. And the next day, Italy marked its first death from the virus. Schools, restaurants and universities began to close in an effort to prevent the spread. By the beginning of March, it was clear the virus had spread to the whole country. On March the 8th, the Prime Minister, Giuseppe Conte, placed Lombardy and 14 of the worst affected northern provinces under quarantine. There was panic, and thousands of people attempted to flee south, spreading the virus even further. On March the 9th, the Prime Minister Conte extended quarantine measures to all of Italy, placing more than 60 million people in lockdown. In spite of that, March the 19th marked a grave milestone. The death toll had reached 3,405, and Italy had surpassed China to become the country with the highest number of confirmed fatalities in the world, and more than double the number of active cases compared to any other country.